Hello everybody. I'm a little stressed right now. Well, actually not right now, but I was stressed a lot yesterday. And it was about basically my work. And to give you some background information, I work at Subway, the sandwich restaurant. And I closed the store. And I'm killing my engine. Too cold engine. Anyway, so um, I closed the store. And uh, it's really, it's a lot of work you got to do. A lot of work. And, th and then on top of that, on top of that, it's, um, you have an hour, the last hour is by yourself, and a lot of the workload is in that hour. So, to make a long story short, I hate closing, and I dislike working a lot there now, because my boss thinks I need to be perfect when I get out of there. Like, she wants, like, there's probably over... 150 different items that I got to complete and make sure that's stocked and everything. She, uh, I have to make sure everything's stocked and whatnot. There's over 150 items and she expects all of them to be perfect. And it pisses me off because if I don't do one or two things, she'll just say, you had a shitty clothes and you, forgot to do, you didn't do these two things, why? You know? So I'm looking for another job right now. I mean, Subway's a great place to work, yeah, but closing just sucks ass for me. But um, so yeah, I applied at Taco Bell, Walmart, Church's Chicken, and I want I want to apply at Joanne's Fabric Store. And I want to apply at some other places too. So yeah, I really dislike working. It's really stressful. And I want to know you guys' opinion on it. I'm thinking I'm going to transfer from a, to a different subway because basically I hate my work because my boss. I mean... I realize that a lot of bosses are going to be terrible, and and so forth and whatnot. But this boss, I just like. I mean, I can't I can't work anymore because it's so stressful. I just can't work. Can't take it. But um, so that's that. I just want I just want to get that out there. <clears throat> That's why I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I've been trying to work on work and getting a new job, etc. and so forth. <sighs> my next topic is uh, my new bike. Not my new bike. My future bike that I want to get. But after this bike, I want to get a different bike, of course. I mean, I, I, I maybe will keep this bike forever. You know, I'm, that's, a, that's a possibility. But my next bike, I want to get a 2010 or 2009 or 2011 Honda CBR600 RR. But um, and I, I like the fe I like the feature on the uh, 09s because it has ABS anti-lock brake system, which is nice because it's safe and you can stop faster and it's safer, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the bike I want to get. I like I like that bike because I researched it a lot, you know, and I believe that uh, it has the best city usage for a 600 bike. I heard Kawasaki's bikes are more race oriented than than the Hondas, and I and I believe that. Oh my flicker's on my bed, and I believe the Hondas uh, bikes have a higher build quality than Kawasaki. I mean that's just my opinion off of research and et cetera, et cetera. And their bikes look, just look amazing. The Honda CBR 600 sounds and looks and judging my specs and everything is better, I think, 
than a ZX6R. They are exactly the same price, I think. I think they're exactly the same price. I mean, you're not going to get it from, to, from the dealer exact same price, but but they are MSRP same price. And I'm on my way to school right now. About 40, high 40s today. Um, yeah, so the bike I want to get. What's the next item? Oh yeah, let me, I'll talk about the review of this bike that I'm riding right now. Uh, I'm really bad at reviewing items. Let's start out with that. But this bike is awesome. It's amazing. I have the best fuel mileage, fuel economy than, uh, than all the bikes that I ride with and my dad's bike. My dad's bike gets around 45 miles per gallon. I get about 65 to Maybe I may, sometimes I push it to 70 if, I'm, if I baby it. And uh, the ergonomics on this bike is spot on. I, it's so comfortable riding this bike. I could probably do cross country if I got a touring windshield. I could probably do cross country. But um, yeah, so. Let's see, also the power is, this thing tops out at 110. It'll be, it'll take a little bit, but it will get there. And, uh, sorry about that, us. Uh, yeah, so, this bike is awesome. Great power, uh, it's great turning and whatnot, the look uh, it's very flickable. It's very easy to turn. It's great for beginner. And the twisties I keep up or I go faster than a lot of 1000 cc's and a and I probably would with the 600 cc. But in the twisties I believe it's um all about the rider all about the rider uh skill skill level. And then let's see what else. This bike has a high build quality. I've, I haven't had any issues yet, and I plan to don't have no issues. I change the oil on this bike every 2,000 miles because uh, I'm bored, <laughs> and I just feel like changing it. Oh, whoops! I need to get 25. I'm going like 40 or 50. All right, um, yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, um, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my uh, mirror, Iridium mirror shield. I'll show you guys that after this turn here. Here's my Iridium shield. So no one could ever see my camera. <laughs> no one will, people would just think I'm talking to myself if I park next to them, you know? If I idle next to them. No one could see my camera, this is awesome. No one could stare at me. I could be filming them and they would never know. It's an awesome thing. Approaching my parking spot with Z Magic 97 and another friend. I can see myself. Can you? <laughs>